Okay, welcome back. <clears throat> For those of you who are following um, tutorial, tutorial, break time is over. Next step is on the way. For those who you are starting um, fresh um, for the next day or whatever, um, this is part two of how to make a shirt for Second Life using a graphic idea. My name is Najma Zhu, and I'll be walking you through this tutorial today. Now for this portion, we are going to begin working on the back um, of our graphic image, this shirt section right here. Okay, we are going to first start by making our graphic for the shirt. And I'm going to show you how to get this overall effect right here okay we're gonna first start by opening up our new image my width is going to be 400 by 400 excuse me 400 height 400 and we're gonna have a background of a light gray for those who you are um, um, numerically um, adapt it's going to be C0 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 okay for those of us who needs visual it's a light light gray <laughs> okay we're going to click OK and get our new image here now this effect is going to be uber uber easy it's going to be so easy you're going to hit yourself in the head and why you didn't think of that okay, now we're going to go to effects and we are going to go to our plugins tool, Greg's Factory Outlet Volume 2, and we're going to select Pull Shadow. Okay, using my settings that I have here, we're going to collect, click, excuse me, we're going to click OK and get that effect here. Now, this as a fabric is fine, it's great, it has movement. Um, you can go on from here and just make it into a seamless texture and work from there or you can continue forward and um, add a little pizzazz to that fabric I'm going to go a little bit further we're gonna duplicate our first layer and then we get the second layer now we're gonna go back to our effects tool and we're gonna select our texture effects and we're gonna go to weave okay now as you can see my settings here um, I have a gap size of 2 a width of 5 and opacity of 100 my weave is a dark color and my gap color is white and my field gap gap is checked okay you can uncheck that and, and it really doesn't matter it's just um, creators um, creators you know proactive I'm sorry okay now that I have this effect I pretty like this I pretty much like this we're gonna go to the blend mode I know I said hue and saturation saturation in the last tutorial I do apologize I'm blaming on the night quilt you're going to play with these effects until you get the nice idea you want I found that soft light for this did very well and I'm going to drop the opacity down just a little bit between the 45 50 is, is the desired effect we want it to be just enough that that um, you can see the texture but you don't your eyes are not focused directly on that pattern okay now we're going to merge this and we're going to make it into a seamless tile okay now we're 